Hello and welcome back to Excel Sip. Recently, a friend of mine asked me to create a simple pay slip or a salary slip for his small company of about 15 employees. And he wanted to use Excel for this since investing in a payroll software isn't all that feasible for him. It's a pretty simple job, so I thought of sharing it with you all. Let's get to it. We started by making a rough layout of how should our pay slip look like and finally settled on this. You can add or remove any field that may not be applicable to you. These are all basic details that a salary slip should have. Now let's get to Excel and start bringing this layout to life. First thing you should do when you are creating a layout like this is know where your page boundaries are. And the easiest way is to use print options. Press Ctrl P and Excel will bring you to this menu. It doesn't matter if you have a printer connected or not. Once you are here, just press escape and get back to our sheet. But now our sheet has these dotted lines which show our margins. So we know these are the lines we have to consider as our page and keep our design between these. At this stage, it's simply using Merge and Center at times and typing the various headings. So I'm going to go through this pretty quickly while you hear some soothing music. Here. Now we have the whole thing as we want in Excel and once we have the values filled in, we can make the final touches. So let's get the data that is going to come up here. We start by employee number as it will always be unique and that is necessary since we are going to use VLOOKUP to pull our data. Why VLOOKUP? Because it's available to all, unlike XLOOKUP which is only available in Microsoft 365 and newer versions. So let's create a drop down list of employee numbers in this cell under employee ID. Go to the data tab and click on data validation. Under allow, choose list and then let's select our cells by clicking on this up arrow here and going to our employee database which is a table on this sheet. Use control and press space bar to select the whole column and press ok. Reason I'm asking you to do this and not select just the cells because this way, whenever you add a new employee, that will also show up here in the drop-down. The only drawback is your drop-down will always have a blank at the end. But I think it's a small trade-off as compared to keep changing the drop-down list every time we have to add a new employee. Now we have a nice drop-down list of all the employees working for us. Now comes the time to use VLOOKUP on all these cells. For the employee info section, we have the employees database. For the section here, attendance details, we have our attendance sheet from our previous video. If you want to create one for yourself, I'll leave a link on the top right and in the description. And you can check how you can create a simple and highly effective attendance sheet in Excel. Lastly, the salary details are being pulled from this salary sheet here. Let me give you a brief idea about the salary sheet. We have different components of a salary. Basically, there are two, earnings and deductions. Earnings will include your basic salary, your allowances and your bonuses and deductions will include your taxes, insurance, etc. We have our salary already calculated here and the way it works is we have pulled the attendance percentage of the employee from our attendance sheet and depending on his attendance, his basic is calculated. Rest of the earnings and deductions are mostly based on this adjusted basic and if adjusted basic is down due to unpaid leaves, the rest follow suit accordingly. So now 
all that is left is using VLOOKUP. So I'll leave you again with some music to listen to while I quickly add all the VLOOKUPs. All done. Now we have all the details filled up. The last thing to do is add an electronic signature. Let me add that here. Do you want to know how to do that? I'll link it up top and leave a link in the description for you. Just remember, all this data is linked with this employee ID here. And whenever you need to get details of another employee, just go in the drop down here and change the employee ID and we have all the details updated. Our salary slip is ready. The best bit about this method is you might have different rates of allowance and deductions where you are and that's fine because you can make all the changes in the background on their respective sheets and your salary slip remains unaffected because we are just pulling the data. So if you want to give bonus to your employees just mention it in this column here and you already have it linked to this cell here and it will appear here. Moreover, this way you can, depending on your requirement, print all the salary slips or save them as PDF and your main data is always intact. So that's it for this video. I'll leave the link of this file for your practice in the description. Hope you have learned something new that upgrades your Excel game in your job or business. If you have any queries or suggestions, leave them in the comments and I shall respond to them at the earliest. Please share this video to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one. Until then, happy spreadsheeting.